In this ortho K case, the patient's post wear topography shows that the lens is riding a little bit high, and the patient's also got a little bit of an undercorrection. Uh, I do agree with you that increasing the sagittal depth should get the lens to drop a little bit. And the target that I would aim for is, in this case, about five microns of difference centrally. So in other words, if we're about 2.8 centrally right now, my target would be about 7.8 or so, and probably not much more than that, so that we don't end up vaulting the cornea centrally too much. Uh, so I would just click down here at the blue dot about four times, and we're about 7.6, so I think that's a pretty good uh, starting point for the next lens. As far as the uh, under correction, I would build in a little bit more demand to this lens. I think for the patient's uh, baseline topography as well as the uh, given prescription we want to correct, uh, I think we can go a little bit flatter than an 8.66 as we are right now. So I'd probably bump this power about a half diopter or so and just click up until we're close to 174. And that's probably the closest we'll get there. Anytime you change the power of the lens, even though we're in 100% mode, I always string through the meridians because sometimes I can get closer if we go to 25 and kind of adjust these manually. So a little bit closer to 174 now. Same thing there. And so now we have a new lens that's got a little bit more sag to it, uh, increased topo demand. This lens should center a little bit better, and the patient should get a little bit more of that residual prescription taken away. Uh, the final comment that was made was the patient seems to have some dry eye. And again, I do agree The looking at some of the raw photos for the topographies, it seems like this patient's tear film is really breaking up. And uh, I would absolutely treat that. So whether it's uh, compresses or lid scrubs, uh, lubricants, I think it's definitely to the patient's advantage for a successful outcome if that tear film is uh, improved. So I would do make both changes concurrently, start this patient on some dry eye therapy, and, uh, and go ahead and make these lens changes as well. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.